Dear brothers and sisters who have joined this call from around the world, on behalf of the entire Annapurna team, loving Sayams, I wish you all a very warm welcome to this Teacher's Day special webinar. At the outset, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Girish Surya Narayana, and I work as a principal key expert at Siemens Research. I have been associated with Annapurna for the last eight years, and I will be your host for today. Today is Teacher's Day, and we would like to begin by sincerely thanking the thousands of teachers of government schools where Annapurna is providing free morning nutrition across 17 states and three union territories. It is only due to these teachers who have wholeheartedly supported this mission that Annapurna has been able to sustain and expand its morning nutrition program to 500,000 children today. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Our session today will start with a small presentation on the luminaries of the teaching world who have inspired us with their dedication, commitment, and contribution to the nation. Next, one of our long-term volunteers, Sister Ranjini Thota, will share soul-stirring incidents and life experiences of many teachers who have supported Annapurna. So let's get started. Before we commence our presentation, we would like to offer our obeisance to our master, Bhagwan Sri Satisai Baba, and loving prostrations to our guru, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai. Now, let's start looking at the lives of some of these amazing teachers of India and feel inspired. So we start with Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, who was the first vice president and second president of India, an excellent teacher, a renowned philosopher, and considered as one of the greatest thinkers of the 20th century, he was awarded the Bharat Ratna in 1954. Dr. Radhakrishnan was highly admired and respected. In fact, his students loved him so much that it is said that in 1921, when he was en route to the Mysore railway station from the Mysore University, the students had arranged for a flower bedecked carriage to take him to the destination. And needless to say, the carriage was pulled by the students themselves. He was once asked by his students and friends how his birthday should be celebrated. And he humbly said, instead of celebrating my birthday, it would be my proud privilege if 5th September, my birthday is celebrated as Teacher's Day. And that's why his birthday, 5th September, is lovingly comm commemorated as Teacher's Day. Why do we need to celebrate Teacher's Day? A teacher plays a crucial role in molding the personality and life of a student. And Teacher's Day is celebrated to honor and recognize this crucial role of teachers in our lives. Next, we move to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who was the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. Of course, everyone knows him. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna in 1997, and he was also popularly referred to as the people's president and the missile man of India. He is known to everyone in India and students all over the country are aware of his life and accomplishments. Knowing that one of the most selfless people who can touch and uplift one's life is a teacher, Dr. A.P. Jabdul Kalam wanted to be known as a teacher more than anything else. For he knew that there can be no bigger honor. We salute him on this important day and express gratitude for his invaluable contributions to the country. It is not only these luminaries who have embodied the principle of teacherhood. In fact, there are a growing number of young people who are emerging as the torch bearers of teacherhood across the different parts of India. Let's take a look at a few of them. We start with Sri Anand Kumar, who is renowned for the Super 30 program that coaches poor students for IITJE, the entrance examination for the Indian Institute of Technology. He was born in Patna, Bihar, and his father was a clerk in the postal department. His father could not afford private schooling for his children, and therefore Anand attended a Hindi medium government school where, interestingly, he developed his deep love for mathematics. Recognizing his talent in mathematics, years later, Cambridge University offered him admission. However, like other bright students who are unable to attend university due to their economic condition, Anand was unable to attend Cambridge University because of lack of funds. Having a deep interest in maths, Anand therefore turned his attention towards teaching underprivileged children and set up a maths institute. In 2000, 
Anand started the Super 30 program through which he now helps underprivileged students prepare for IIT JEE. And as of 2018, 422 out of 481 students had successfully qualified for the Premier Institute. He became a subject of an hour-long documentary on Discovery Channel in 2009, and his life and journey was also portrayed recently on the silver screen via the movie Super 30. Next, we move on to Babar Ali. Starting a school while in school himself, Babar Ali teaches more than 800 children today in his parents' ba backyard. Coined the youngest headmaster of India by BBC at the age of 16 for running a school in Murshidabad, West Bengal, the young man started teaching at the age of nine. And starting with a few children, the school today has grown to 800 children and a total of 10 teachers. The school is tuition free, which makes it affordable for the poor in this economically deprived area. And we are tremendously honored to have this school as one of the Sri Satyasai Annapurna Trust beneficiary school. Babar's inspiration is Swami Vivekananda, and Babar has been bestowed with many honors for his good work, including the NDTV Indian of the Year Award in 2009, Forbes Asia 30 under 30 recognition as a social entrepreneur, and also a chapter dedicated his, to his story in school course books. Last but not the least is Bharti Kumari, who as an infant was abandoned at a railway station by her parents in Bihar. However, this did not daunt her. And just like Babar Ali, she began teaching at a young age, even as she herself was studying in school. The rightful holder of the title of being one of the youngest headmistress around the world, Bharti Kumari began overseeing the village school in Kusumbhara at the age of 12. Every morning and evening under the shade of a mango tree, she teaches Hindi, English and maths to 50 village children who would otherwise receive no education. In between, she attends a state school, which is a two mile walk away. And dressed proudly in a school uniform, she passes on the knowledge gleaned from her lessons at school to the village children aged between four and 10 in her own class. How inspiring is it indeed to see such young children take upon the mantle of teaching other underprivileged children? Hats off to them for being a great example to all of us. And on that note, I would like to end my presentation here and would love to welcome Sister Ranjini Tota to this live event. Ranjini, Sister is the speaker uh, for today and she's a senior volunteer at Annapurna and focuses on service activities related to education. She is the co-founder of the Annapurna Breakfast Center at Sivi Ramanagar at Bangalore, where she helped set up the breakfast program along with a few others in May 2015. In addition, Sister Ranjini is an experienced Bal Vikas teacher and has helped groom hundreds of children in value-based living. During the course of her rural visits at Annapurna, Ranjini's sister has overseen and experienced deep transformation stories among children, as well as the teachers, which we will hear shortly from her. In the past, Ranjini's sister has worked in the IT industry as consultant at Ford Motor Company Detroit, and later in India as project manager, Dell Application Services, erstwhile at HCL Perot Systems. And after working for 11 years, she quit in 2010 to pursue a life of selfless service. Ranjini's sister holds a degree in engineering from SV University Tirupati and a diploma in computer applications from NCCT Chennai. Ranjini lives with her husband and her college-going children in Sibiramanagar, Bangalore. Sister, we are very happy to have you in our midst today. And I have known you for over five years and have been a part of some of your transformative experiences. And I really think our viewers today would enjoy listening to your experiences, especially about how you got involved with Annapurna and your experiences with the government school teachers. So with that, over to you, sister. Sairam Gari, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm very grateful to be part of today's program to honor the teachers all across. Our age-old saying, Acharya Devo Bhava, reinforces that teachers are doing the most noble profession of all professions and, and they go a long way in building a nation. When I look back and recount my experiences from 2015 until now with Annapurna, I see that the thrills and joy of giving have transformed my approach to life completely. 
I am truly humbled by the selfless service of teachers that I've come across both in urban and rural schools. Today being Teacher's Day, I'm extremely happy to show my gratitude and respect to these teachers. It's not just me, but on behalf of the larger group of Annapurna volunteers. The teachers have truly been a source of great inspiration to us because the love for children drives them so strongly. Annapurna Morning Nutrition Program has spread to such large number of children purely because of the commitment shown by these teachers. They very enthusiastically take responsibility and own it completely. You know, rain or shine, they ensure that children are served every single day. Without the commitment from these teachers, the program would simply not sustain, no matter how many volunteers we have. Actually, it is interesting that when we first took the program to a few schools in Chikpalapur Taluk, you know, in Mushtur and Honagari up in Halli villages, the headmasters were unsure about the sustenance of the program. And, you know, I, I can't blame them. They wondered if in a year's time, we would still be around to provide breakfast every single morning. They definitely did not want to start and then disappoint their children later. So it took some convincing to start the program, but in no time they became our strongest supporters. So here is a picture of Indira Madam from Honagiri Apan Halli and also of the HM from Mushtur. Many of these headmasters and teachers lead by example. They make sure to eat breakfast at school along with the children and the cooks and they ensure that the children maintain discipline in saying their prayers before they eat, which in turn, of course, inculcates gratitude. On several occasions, I've heard, I've had children come up to me and say that they want to grow up and be an Annapurna volunteer like me. Trust me, it was very satisfying and heartwarming. Another instance where teachers have led by example is that they very honestly inform us when they have a surplus of ration for a few days that are left over from the previous month. It is indeed to their credit because their children are seeing them in action and are naturally imbibing these values. Here are HMs of Dibur and Puttaman Halli, also of Chikbalapur Taluk, who have helped us launch the program in several schools. They have always given us honest and constructive feedback, which really helped shape the program. Because it has changed the models, you know how the models evolved with time. Let's take a quick look at what some of these teachers have to say about Annapurna. ఫుడ్ చాలా బాగుంది మేము ఆరోగ్యంగా ఉన్నాము టిఫిన్ లేకపోయేటప్పుడు లేటుకు వచ్చేవారం స్కూల్కి ఈ టిఫిన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏడు గంటలకు వస్తున్నాం ఇది తినడం వల్ల అందరూ ఆరోగ్యంగా ఉంటున్నారు ఇది ప్రతిరోజు సరైన సమయానికి అందిస్తున్నారు మా సార్స్ వచ్చే సమయానికి మా స్కూల్ మొత్తం మేము పరిశుభ్రంగా ఉంచుతున్నాము పిల్లలకి పెట్టిన ఫుడ్ మాత్రం ఉదయాన్నే మాత్రం బాగా అందిస్తున్నారు పేద పిల్లలు ఇంకా స్కూల్ పంపించాలా ఉదయం మా పనులకు వెళ్ళిపోతే చల్దానాలు అవి పెట్టకుంటే ఒక పని తగ్గుతుంది పిల్లలదే భారం అంతా నాలుగు గంటల వరకు అన్నట్టుగా బాగా కృషి చేస్తున్నారు అంటే తల్లిదండ్రులు కూడా ఆశించి తల్లిదండ్రులు ఉదయాన్నే పిల్లలకి పంపడం కూడా జరుగుతుంది ఒక ఆశ అనేది తల్లిదండ్రులకి కూడా జరుగుతుంది పిల్లలకి కూడా కృషి టైమ్ కి టైమ్ కి మెయింటైన్ చేయడం మనం టిఫిన్ కి సార్ వచ్చేస్తారు బేగ వెళ్ళిపోవాలనేది కూడా ఒక టైమ్ పద్ధతి అనేది కూడా పిల్లలకు అలవాటు అయింది చాలా బాగా ఉంది పిల్లలు కూడా సంతోషంగా ఉన్నారు బాగా ఎక్కువ మంది హాజరవుతున్నారు ఇంతకు ముందు కంటే అంతకు ముందు అయితే పోస్ట్ తీసేసే పరిస్థితికి వచ్చింది ఇప్పుడు అన్ని దీని వల్ల ఇప్పుడు చాలా బాగుంది స్ట్రెంగ్త్ కూడా బాగా పెరిగింది అల్పాహార పథకంతో విద్యార్థుల ప్రవేశాలు హాజరు శాతం పెరిగాయని ఉపాధ్యాయులు చెబుతున్నారు ఈ పథకం పెట్టిన తర్వాత పాఠశాలల ఎందు పిల్లలకు శ్రద్ధ పెరగడంతో పాటు క్రమశిక్షణ అనేది బాగా అలవాటు పడింది పౌష్టికాహారము అందించడం వల్ల పిల్లల్లో వ్యక్తిగతంగా శారీరక వృద్ధితో పాటు మానసికంగా అభివృద్ధి చెంది ఉన్నారు 
దీంతో పాటు పాఠశాల ప్రభుత్వ పాఠశాలపై విద్యార్థుల యొక్క సంఖ్య పెరగడానికి ఈ పథకం ప్రత్యేకంగా దోహదపడుతుంది చక్కటి పోషక విలువలతో కూడినటువంటి ఆహారాన్ని వీళ్ళకి అందించడంలోని డైలీ స్కూల్ కు వచ్చే ప్రతి పిల్లవాడు కూడా నైన్టీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ ప్రతి ఎవరో బాగోక ఇంట్లో అమ్మ పెడితే తినాలి తప్ప మిగతా పిల్లలందరూ స్కూల్ కు వచ్చి ఇక్కడే ఆహారం తీసుకోవడం జరుగుతుందండి అటెండెన్స్ పెరిగింది మాకు పిల్లవాళ్ళకి రెగ్యులారిటీ పంక్చువాలిటీ అటెండెన్స్ అన్ని కూడా బాగున్నాయి సుమారు నాలుగు వర్షగలిందలో సహా ఎల్ల శాలయ మక్కలిగా ఉపహారవన్న నీడత బందిదారా ఆ ఉపహారవన్న నీడువ సులువాగియే ఊరిన మధ్య భాగదల్లి ఒక నిర్మితి కేంద్రవన్ను సహా స్థాపనయన మాడిర్తారా ఇదల్లదే ప్రతి శనివార ఎల్ల మక్కలిగో బాల వికాస తరబేతి అంతకంత ఒక కార్యక్రమవన్న శాలయు శాలయ అవధి ముగిద అనంతర నడుచుకొని బరతా ఇరతారా అల్లి శ్లోకగలు గీతగలు మత్తు మక్కళ నైతిక మౌల్యవన్న హెచ్చిసువంత ఆ కార్యక్రమవన్న నడుచుకొని బరతా ఇదారు నమ్మ శిక్షకర సహయోగదొందే ఇదరింద మక్కళ ఒక భౌతిక మట్ట మత్తు జీవనదలి ఏగ శిస్తన కలియవేకు అంతకంత ఒక వ్యవస్థయు మక్కళ మనస్సినల్లి మూడు బరతా ఇరతకంతదు నమ్మ ఎల్ల శిక్షకర గమనకే బందే నన్న హెసరు నాగరాజు అంత నేను సర్కారీ ఉర్దూ కిరియ ప్రాథమిక శాలే కందువార ఈ శాలేయల్ని ముఖ్యోపాధ్యాయరాగి మూడు వర్షదింద కెలస నిర్వహిస్తా ఇది బెళగ్గే నమ్మ అన్నపూర్ణ ట్రస్ట్ ఇది బాళే హణ్ణు బిస్కెట్ హాలు మత్తు చపాతి గురువార చపాతి కొడతారు ఈ రీతి కొడోద్రింద ప్రతి మగు శాలేగా హాజరాతి తుంబ చెనాగిదే దాఖలాతి కూడా ఇదే నేను బంగారుపేట తాలూకునే ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಎಂಬತ್ತೈದರ ಸೇವೆಗೆ ಸೇರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬರ್ತಿದ್ರು ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಆ ರೂಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಸೈಲೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಕೂತ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಅವರು ಅಕ್ಕ ಅಣ್ಣ ಮತ್ತು ತಂಗಿ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕೂತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಸರ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಗೆ ಊಟನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಅವ್ರ ತಂದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ತಾಯಿ ಹುಚ್ಚಿ ಇವರು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಗೂ ಹೋಗಿ ಭಿಕ್ಷೆ ಬೇಡಿ ಊಟವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ಆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಯಾರು ಊಟ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ನನಗೆ ಬಹಳ ನೋವಾಯಿತು ಅಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಒದಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸರ್ಕಾರದಿಂದ ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫುಡ್ ಇತ್ತು ಆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫುಡ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಐದು ಪಾಕೆಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರ ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ನೀವು ಬಿಸಿನೀರಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ತಿಂದು ಬನ್ನಿ ಊಟ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಐದು ಪಕ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೈಲಾದಂತಹ ಸಹಾಯವನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಆವತ್ತಿನ ಒಂದು ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶವನ್ನು ನಾನು ಜ್ಞಾಪಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ನೀರು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಇಂತಹ ಬಡ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ನಿಂದ ಮುದ್ದೇನಳ್ಳಿ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ನಿಂದ ಈ ಒಂದು ಉಪಹಾರವನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ತುಂಬ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ವಿಷಯ ಸಂತೋಷ ವಿಷಯ ಮತ್ತು ಬಡ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಉಪಯೋಗವಾದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೋಮವಾರ ದಿನ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಚಿತ್ರಾನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮಂಗಳವಾರ ಉಪ್ಪಿಟ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬುಧವಾರ ಪೊಂಗಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಗುರುವಾರ ರೈಸ್ ಬಾತ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಶುಕ್ರವಾರ ಮತ್ತು ಉಪ್ಪಿಟ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಾಗಿರೋದರಿಂದ ಆ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ರಾಗಿ ಮುದ್ದೆ ತಿನ್ನೋದು ಮಾತ್ರ ಇತ್ತು ಸರಿ ಅದು ಬದಲಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಉಪಹಾರ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದರಿಂದ ದಿನ ಒಂದೊಂದು ವಿಧ ವಿಧವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಅಡುಗೆಯನ್ನು ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದರಿಂದ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಭಾಳ ಖುಷಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ತಪ್ಪದಿರ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಎಂಟುವರೆಗೆ ಶಾಲೆ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿ ಅವರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ತಿಂಡಿಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ನೀತಿ ಕಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಸಹ ತಿಳಿಸಿ ವಚನಗಳನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಉಪಹಾರವನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ನೀತಿ ಕಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ವಚನಗಳನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದ ವಿಷಯ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಶನಿವಾರ ಬಾಲ ವಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ಶಿಬಿರವನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಇದು ಶಾಲಾ ಅವಧಿ ನಡೆಯ
ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಅವರ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಕಡೆನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಗಮನವನ್ನು ನೀಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೇವಕರ್ತರಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ you can see that all the children are extremely happy with the variety in breakfast that they get and the teachers are even happy because the children don't have to come to school hungry because they know the disadvantages of that the teachers have seen significant improvement in their physical and mental health they have seen a rise in enrollment attendance punctuality and their concentration levels and several times i have had teachers come up to me and tell me that they are touched by the stories that we tell them in the balvikas classes because the primary intent is to impart human values the teachers are very willing to support us in all possible ways in many many occasions they have gone beyond the call of duty sometimes much more than a volunteer or staff you know that is their level of involvement when it comes to serving children i would like to share a few incidents and stories here is a picture of a teacher who is actually carrying the rations himself it was not required for him to do it at all but he most willingly joined hands with our annapurna volunteers i remember one occasion where annapurna truck could not deliver the rations due to a band and the teachers took it upon themselves to carry the rations to their school by hiring auto rickshaws even though it costed them a lot here is another picture of the hm from bagepalli he hired a vehicle to distribute the tetra packs of fruit juice sponsored by dabar through the annapurna for his school and 20 other schools i have seen many teachers spending their own money to buy extra sugar extra vegetables you know to enhance the taste and nutrition in the breakfast next i would like to talk about shivaradi sir in kaivara village we first interacted with him when we launched saishur in his village saishur is a nutritional powder that complements the milk powder that is given by the government of karnataka through the kshira bhagya program this headmaster was exceptional he was a true hero because he took it upon himself to arrange for the gas and the cook salaries you know and he's been doing it over a year now he has also helped us launch the program in many schools in the entire chintamani area there are other schools also like the nalakadranhalli ketanhalli jiganhalli near mandikal where teachers bear the salaries of cooks themselves next i would like to talk about another real hero who is the hm of manchi kala padu in andhra pradesh damodar sir was unable to get the infrastructure to cook in his school premises so he but he did, definitely did not want to miss collaborating with annapurna in serving the children breakfast so with the rations from annapurna he actually gets the breakfast cooked at his very own home every single day for 30 children and carries it to the school and serves them there you know i'm i'm truly amazed and touched by his service similarly the teachers from one palwal school in haryana found it a challenge to find a cook despite their best efforts so they just decided to cook breakfast themselves with a little help from our annapurna volunteers the teachers came in early and cooked hats off to them in the last few years i have also come across some exceptional teachers whose dedication and passion to teach are really worth applauding 
Vijaya Madam from Bodhaganahalli is very creative and comes up with her own innovative teaching aids. I was amazed to see that her students of second and third standard could read and speak fluently in English, although, although the, the school itself is primarily a Kannada medium school. Another really inspiring story is of a school in Chikbalapur. I'm sorry, I don't have a picture for this. They had a girl student who was polio stricken and she was very depressed and just refused to come to school because she felt that she doesn't fit in. So the HM and staff took it upon themselves, arranged for a ramp and a toilet to be built for her convenience. They encouraged her to come back to school by going to her home and actually, you know, bringing back her back to school. She is doing wonderfully well now. During these difficult COVID times, some teachers are taking extra effort to teach their students. Here is Radhamani Madam of Ramnagar School who teaches Hindi for 8th, 9th and 10th standard students. She is not hesitating to spend on auto rickshaw for four days a week to travel about 30 kilometers from her home to the school. You can see from the pictures that they're all maintaining social distancing and you can also see here a picture where she has some creative way of teaching Hindi. We have other teachers like Vaijayanti Madam of Dibur, who is teaching small groups of her students in temple premises in the village because it is not safe for her to use the school premises. I already spoke about Shivaradi Sir of Kaivara. He and his staff are also doing the same. They are teaching their children in large temples. I have to mention two other very dynamic HMs from Andhra Pradesh. Venkateshwara Reddy Sir from Naidupalli and uh, Veera Reddy Sir from Bandlamudi, who took the lead in distributing rations supplied by Annapurna during the COVID lockdown. You know, they have shown such commitment that no amount of words can express our gratitude to them. I have also seen a few dynamic, you know, really en enterprising women HMs in action. One of them is Veena Madam, uh, the HM from Nagarbavi in Bangalore. And she has most of her students coming from the slum nearby. However, she takes such interest in these children and their welfare and their, um, you know, what they learn that she has collaborated with other NGOs and has science projects and exhibitions happening throughout the year. If a child does not attend school for a week, she makes it a point to go to the home of the child and, you know, talk to the child, talk to the parent, understand the issue and try to help them to address it. So in one case, a child was missing from school for a week. And so when she went home, she discovered that both the parents were off to work. And um, so this child was taking care of the younger sibling. She immediately spoke to the parents and got the younger sibling admitted in the Anganwadi school. You know, the parents were not even aware that there is a school which enrolls younger children. And, you know, this way, the older child got back to school again. And um, she also is in touch with her students who are passing out or graduating from the seventh standard to make sure that they enroll themselves in the eighth standard in the school nearby. She's constantly in touch with HMs to ensure that they're all doing well. In fact, she did a fantastic job by working closely with a retired professor from the Institute of Socioeconomic Change. What she did is she got a skywalk built so her students don't have to cross a high traffic road to reach the school. 
In fact, one lawyer was so impressed with the school that he admitted his child in this government school, although he could very well afford a private school. Another enterprising HM is Anavekar Madam from the Dupanhalli School in Bangalore, who also has all her children from the slum. She has collaborated with several NGOs to come to the school and conduct art and crafts training, computer skills training, and has arranged for science project kits to be made available in the school science lab. And she has built such a good rapport with her students and the parents that, you know, some of these ex-students of hers come back to school on weekends to engage and coach the younger children in sports. You know, and she's very big on sports and we've seen how many trophies they have, um, you know, as, as a uh, school, they won several trophies in sports. Truly, truly amazing women. I have to say that largely all teachers are very forthcoming and enthusiastic to sign up for any initiative from Annapurna, whether it is the nutrition or the health screening or the sanitation projects or you know, the human values classes or the drinking water plants. You know, they, they do it so selflessly. It is it, and you know, and it's not just the teachers, the block education officer, Shantala Madam, went out of her way and got approvals and spearheaded the initiative to set up drinking water plants in 120 rural government schools. You know, that, that's a really whopping number. She did this with, in collaboration with um, Annapurna and Samsung. And, um, you know, personally, I have experienced um, many teachers, you know, who have done their very best, including um, contributing money together, pulling it up and trying to help children in distress. And in, in some cases, they have approached us for help, you know, when children are orphaned and or they're from broken families or they're abandoned and um, sometimes literally in rags with nothing to eat. The first of its kind was when a few years ago, the HM from Yeluahalli, Shashikala Madam, approached us requesting to help with a girl who was 13 years old. She had lost her father at a very young age and her mother remarried. And unfortunately, her stepfather was ill-treating her. And to add to this, her mother pulled her out of school and had her working in a farm to earn for the family. This brave little girl informed her HM of her situation through other acquaintances and the HM took special interest and with difficulty relocated the child to safety. You know, I went to pick up this child to admit her in an orphanage and I really did not know what to expect. It was um, something, uh, you know, I experienced for the first time. This child was very quiet all through the car ride to Bangalore. And um, she just, you know, responded in monosyllables. So I, I prayed hard that, you know, she likes the orphanage that she's going to because sadly there was no other option for her. And to my surprise, um, she adjusted very quickly to the new environment and she's very happy now. She's been doing exceptionally well in spite of moving from a Kannada medium school to an English medium school. And um, you will be amazed to know that last year she was selected to represent India at the bridge tournament in Croatia for her age group. You know, this is one beautiful success story where I was privileged to be a part of. I still do meet her once in a few months at the orphanage and um, take her to visit Sashikala Madam during the summer holidays. And during COVID, I have wasn't able to visit her. So I just spoke to her over the phone. And the last I heard from her was she wanted to be a CA. And she's really inspired by the older children in the orphanage. 
Over the years, Sashikala Madam played a key role in the lives of two other children in distress. One was a girl who lost her parents and was being forced by her grandmother to get married at the age of 14. And another was a boy who lost his mother when he was very young and unfortunately lost his father to an accident. And he literally had nowhere to go. Fortunately, we were able to admit them into Sri Satisai educational institutes that impart values-based education. The same HM has also inspired one of her ex-students, Santosh, to join our Annapurna staff. Here are two other HMs, Komala Madam of Upper Gaudan Halli and Shantama Madam of Bairagana Halli who also took interest in children who lost their parents in a very painful manner and were under the care of very old grandparents who were themselves struggling to make both ends meet. These children are also now in Sri Satisai Educational Institutes and um, it gives me immense pleasure, you know, when I visit these children, they are so happy and bubbling, all thanks to these teachers. What I share today is just a small set of exemplary selfless teachers that I have come across. I'm sure that there are thousands more teachers of such character. I'm sure that, you know, they are doing so well that they are significantly influencing the lives of children. In fact, Dr. Abdul Kalam always had a great regard for the primary school teacher, because values are imparted best when you catch them young. Bhagwan Sri Satisai Baba always had such high regard for teachers. Here is what he had to say. T for transformation, not just information, not just knowledge from the books. E for example to everyone. So they have to lead by example and we've seen several examples of that. A for awareness of oneness or awareness of the Atma and C for making sure that the children follow the culture of the country. H for making children understand that their head, heart and hand have to function in unity. And E for environment to be socially responsible for your environment and are for teaching children the role of religion, you know, and, and, with, and most of the time it is the religion and spirituality that teaches us the awareness of the Atma or the oneness. For me, you know, it has been a truly inspiring and motivating journey with Annapurna, all because of such teachers who do what they do with a lot and lot of love, nothing else, just love. You know, I wish all the teachers a very happy Teacher's Day, a big salute and a namaste to all of them. Over to you, Girish. Thanks so much, uh, Sister Ranjini, for sharing these touching and really inspiring incidents from the lives of these teachers. Uh, you have left me spellbound and I'm sure a lot of the audience too. And uh, I'm sure they all want to hear more such stories. As I reflect upon these incidents you shared, I realize that all these case studies that you presented were from the schools where Annapurna is providing free morning nutrition. And we are only aware of these stories because Annapurna is working at the grassroots level with them. And truly, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I feel so blessed uh, for this opportunity to be with Annapurna because this has afforded us the opportunity to learn from all these teachers how to go beyond one's duty to help and serve others. Indeed, it is a loving commitment and contribution of all the school teachers that has sustained Annapurna's success and growth over the years. Yes. I know we would all like to continue this wonderful session. However, we are almost out of time. And so I would like to first thank you, sister, for joining us and sharing your experiences. I would also like to um, thank everyone who has joined us from around the world and would like to request our viewers to sh share their experience and feedback via YouTube comments. 
Finally, as we sign off, let's fondly once again remember all the teachers who have inspired us in our lives and whose untiring efforts have helped us be in the successful position where we are today. And let us all contemplate on how we can give back more to society as a token of gratitude to these teachers. And finally, we look forward to seeing you all at our third webinar on Saturday, September 26th at 8 p.m. Until then, the Annapurna team wishes you all the best and hopes you and your families stay safe and healthy. Sairam. Sairam.